If you enjoy this program, please like and subscribe. We are now observing the developments that are described in Tanakh unfolding before our eyes. One of the things that's very striking about it is it's completely irrational. The things we see, the things we hear, doesn't even make sense. How do you view the current situation? Is this a time of Chach and Machoch? So that would mean that the Messiah has must already be among us, or is that the first uh, assumption? So a Messiah is always among us. That's why the Messiah is called a branch. Notice that Jesse in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1, is called a, a root or it's a stump the bottom of the tree, but there's no tree. It's all branches. Why is the Messiah called a branch? Because a tree has hundreds of branches. Maybe there are trees that have thousands of branches. I don't know, a lot of them. In every generation, there's a Mashiach who's ready to step forward. He's immortal. Eventually, he dies, and someone else from David and Solomon is ready then to step forward. And all the time, there's always... Mashiach ready to step forward, always. What happened on October 6th was we were very much a, a divided nation. We were at each other's throats, protesting about Supreme Courts. So I don't know why. But I do know that the person I was on October 6th and the people you were on October 6th do not exist anymore. The people we all were on October 6th do not exist any longer. None of us will ever be the same. That I know for sure. And we're not at each other's throats now we realized that many of the things that divided us were really quite silly. So the world has changed and has vacillated, which means an explosion of either pro-Jewish expressions or fiercely anti-Jewish expressions has exploded. Why? Like, why would that happen? Doesn't make sense, right? But as it turns out, the, this was a trauma this is the Messiah, the son of Joseph moment, meaning tremendous violence and turmoil that triggers a unity, a mourning and a unity. In fact, I discussed this in my latest video on Isaiah 15 through 23, which I recently released. The world will never be the same. You know, the pogroms of the past in the Ukraine, all over the Russian Empire, the most famous pogroms, how many Jews were killed in Kishnev in 1903 when the church announced that a dead boy that was discovered was killed by Jews uh, because they were using his blood for the, to bake matzah. That was in April 19th, 1903, in Kishnev. And they went crazy, burnt down synagogues and murdered Jews for two days. Two days. How many Jews were killed? 49. Kristallnacht. We just marked the 85th anniversary. of. It wasn't the beginning of the Holocaust, but in a sense, we can look to November 9th, 10th, as 1938, as essentially the, the fuse that triggered the Shoah. 92 Jews, Kristallnacht. You know what happened October 7th? I don't need to tell you. We are all in a state of trauma. All of us are. We're in a state of complete trauma. And right now, there are, things have to happen and change, but we'll never be the same. 
So we are, as I've said to you in the past, we are now in the Messianic age. We are meaning we are now observing the developments that are described in Tanakh unfolding before our eyes. And it's one of the things that's very striking about it is it's completely irrational. The things we see and the things we hear doesn't even make sense. It's not logical. I mean, if you see someone robbing a bank, it's very logical. They want the money. This didn't make any sense at all. Didn't make any sense. It doesn't help anybody out. So um, it, we are living in the events that are going to bring Mashiach. And that we can see Ezekiel 38 and 39. So the world will turn to the God of Israel, those who are faithful. There are some who will remain enemies of the God of Israel. But ultimately, this is a precursor to Mashiach. And it's happening now. It means Mashiach is here now. The events that are described in Tanakh are happening right now, right now. I mean, when I say now, I mean in this past 75 years. I mean, this is all Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30, verse 7. It's all so transparent. But we are all, and I don't even know you, but I could say this without fear of being contradicted. The people we were on October 6 no longer exist. We're not the same. None of us are. And we are all traumatized, and that trauma is still ongoing. Every night we go to sleep wondering what will we see the next morning in the news, right? Now, how do I know this? Do I have a camera in your house, right? No, I know this. We're all in the state of trauma, and this is now preparing our, our, us, our generation, for this redemption. So, yes, we're living in this time. If you enjoy this program, please like and subscribe. Adon Olah, Asher Malach, B'terem Kol, Yetzir Nivra, Let Nasa, B'chev Tzokol, Azai Melech, Azai Melech, Shemu Nikra. Thank you.